Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on March 19th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. How y'all holding out out there? Much love to you all, and God bless humanity. And my thoughts are truly with everyone around the world right now. Looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, no coronal holes to talk about. Just a departing sunspot, and as well an active northern sunspot. Looking here at the departing sunspot, got very active here. Some flaring conditions, indeed. Amazing, huge loops. Look at that. Beautiful. That was a small flare. Luckily, not Earth-directed. But we're also watching the incoming sunspot here, who is still kind of active. We'll be keeping an eye on that for the next 48 hours. Speaking of which, this is the last 48 hours for earthquakes from around the world. And yesterday across the United States, I know a lot of thousands of people reported the 5.7 earthquake being felt in Utah. And then right after that, there was a 5.0 in Alaska and then the 5.2 in Petrolia, California. So a very active day for earthquakes across North American plate and as well even some recent activity in Hawaii. And then later on in the evening, we had the 6.2 in Indonesia, which I had reported. I made a small video about it. But since then, it's been very quiet. And that's this is pretty much where all the energy was situated. Right underneath. And around Yellowstone and the Long Valley volcanic field. The only thing that did not trigger was the subduction zone, Cascadia subduction zone. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. A lot is happening around the world, and thank you for watching. And if you haven't hit that like button, please do so now. We're looking around at the last 24 hours for earthquakes now. 4.6 Tajikistan, 4.4 Turkey, and as well a 4.2. Most of the earthquakes, as I said, the last 24 hours now were the North American plate and as well Indonesia. Dominican Republic still dealing with the earthquake swarm. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of shallow quakes across the North American plate. Kind of seems like something's bubbling up, getting ready to burst like a big freaking Yellowstone pimple. Maybe that's what they're quarantining us for. Maybe they know what's coming. Just saying. I don't know. I just like to report the earthquakes and weather from around the world, keeping people as aware and prepared as I can. During these, for say, biblical times, again, thanks again for watching. So please, if you haven't hit that like button, Please smash the like button. It really helps to get this video suggested to other people. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, latest volcano alerts, Seven Kaya, as well Ibu in Indonesia, Dokono in Indonesia, Era in Japan, Asenge in Ecuador. Now these are all in the last four hours being reported, as well a volcano Popocatical. Petitil. And Volcano Reventador. Sabinkaya. And Klachevskoy in Russia, most recently. And across the United States, they had an extreme weather event, which I had warned over the last few videos. The Daily Dews always look for the extreme weather warnings. And a couple tornadoes touched down last night in Texas. St. Angelo, but they definitely saw some amazing shelf clouds and tornado warnings went out across the state as that vicious low pressure system from the Pacific finally made it across the Rockies 
and is now situated over Colorado. Um, most likely going to bring some blizzard-like conditions as it builds and moves possibly northeast towards the Great Lakes. So watch for blizzard-like conditions on the backside and quite a rainy event as it moves east. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base Calgary. Cool temperatures hanging out for a while. And over this next week, we'll see a little bit of precipitation later in the week. But there is quite a low moving in from the Pacific and across eastern Canada. Watch for nor'easter to hit them again. Quebec seeing a lot of snow. And my friends in Ontario definitely going to get a drenching for the first week of spring here. And watch as that Pacific or the... Yeah, it is. It's a Pacific low that ends up making it all the way to the North Pole, pretty much. Across Europe. Watch for a Mediterranean low to develop here. Cooler temperatures moving into Central Europe and Eastern Europe. And as well, watch for extreme weather across Iran and into Pakistan. And, to do it. and then later in the week, northern India. As this low pressure system tries to move across a very mountainous region. Deep lower level troughs, that's what I'm seeing across the world. Deeper, bigger, stronger. Watch for heavy rains across mainland China. Moving into Japan as well. And a lot of snow falling across Russia right now. colder temperatures it's actually not too bad for Siberia minus 25 overlooking the Australian continent not much to talk about except for later in the week possible cyclone development again in the northern territory and as well heavy rains across New Caledonia and into Papua New Guinea possible cyclone developing later in the week there as well so Five-day forecast showing possible two cyclones developing around the Australian continent and seasonable temperatures. Overlooking Africa. Things have calmed down since, of course, Cyclone Harold has left the building, but is still alive and uh, scooting around the Southern Hemisphere right now. So very interesting. I'll be seeing how long Harold lasts for. Cooler temperatures, North Africa and as well South Africa. And not much to talk about for extreme weather. No storms developing across South America. Daytime evaporation rain. Not much to talk about. Heavier parts throughout Bolivia. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Much love to you all. God bless humanity. And look for an update here on the coronavirus coming up real soon. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.